Hey everyone, welcome as we begin the Masterpiece Optimus Prime extravaganza. I thought I would start off showing off Masterpiece Prime in truck mode. Um, and above him, it's not G1 Prime, it's I think it was the 25th anniversary reissue that came out a few years ago. I just thought I would use it because that's pretty much G1 Prime and just kind of give you a size comparison right off the bat here with the diesel modes. As you can see, Masterpiece Prime is considerably larger, which I would expect. Cause he's almost, what, a leader-size cl leader class figure. Um, he is pretty amazing, I have to tell you. All the details on the trailer there, the Silver Stripe, the Autobot logos, all that is paint apps. There's not a single decal I have found on him yet. I had to back up the camera quite a ways just to fit all this in, just so you could see. But what I'm going to do here is zoom back in so that we can kind of get to playing with the figure itself. So we're going to get Mini Prime out of the way. And we're going to start taking a look here at uh, Masterpiece Prime. we got to angle our camera down a little bit. There we go. So, as you can see, he does come with his full trailer, which is just amazing. You can see all the panel work, the detailing, and the mold. As I said, all this is paint out. No stickers whatsoever. I'm going to detach the trailer. That noise you hear rolling around in there is roller. Um, you can see there are even uh, translucent plastic tail lights. Alright, we're going to put that off to the side because we'll do a little more in focus on the trailer itself at a later point. But we've got Prime himself here. Pointed smokestacks. He's actually even got rear view mirrors. And you can see up here the headlights. Everything is chrome. Everything's a paint app. Even the little lights up here. He's got good weight to him. Probably the only clue it's a robot. Well, you can see the matrix right there. Uh, would be up at the top here. You can count, you can make out his hips. Um, but he is pretty cool. Rubber tires. I have to say the only thing that's kind of off about mine is this piece here. You know, he comes packaged with his chest open displaying the Matrix. And this piece, for whatever, just I cannot get it to sit back in there and sit. I think it was kind of maybe warped in package. Other than that, he's really cool. If you sit him down here, the front does open. And there you can see the little spike comes with sitting in there. Like that's the back of Optimus's head. But still pretty cool. Spike is not really anything to look at. In fact, looking at him, it really makes me wonder if uh, this would be in scale with the Human Alliance figures from the movies. Because this figure here seems about the same size. And I only got one Human Alliance figure, and it was a piece of junk, really. So I never really collected any more of them or got into it. But I may have to see if I uh, got a uh, sideswipe out there with what Michaela and see if they're in size or in scale. So, it was a quick look at uh, truck mode here. It works pretty well. And for some reason, I can't get this one tank to really seem to stay pegged in as well as it should. I mean, it pegs in, just I'm not sure it's quite up there. There's some roof look. With the trailer here, for some reason, instead of like having some kind of hitch that comes up, they have these two slots. And then there's like a pegs on the trailer itself to plug in there. To put it together. So, 
no actual suspension on the wheels they're just spokes on there axles so but that is truck mode the detailing is very nice the rivets and everything on there there we go that should be showing off pretty good the panels yep. so all in all I have to say he is very impressive all right so let's move on to robot mode okay so now we're going to take a look at the robot mode here and the transformation um, I've only transformed him a few times so you're gonna have to forgive me if I don't got the order don't have the order down perfectly but um, we're just gonna come down here and start undoing things move the Our gas tanks down. See, actually, I need to change this up a little bit so we can see a little bit better. There we go, that seems to work. Alright, so we get the gas tanks down. If you come down in here, this plastic piece here is actually a button you push in the legs out there we go all right actually I think that needs to be up this piece comes up flips over and covers the tires when the tank comes down pretty much covering the tires on the sides of the legs so on this side we flip this around Got the tank down. There we go. Then down here we got the legs. Or I'm sorry, the feet. They flip out. That's pretty much prime feet. Now, I have to say with mine, the ankles are just kind of weak. And I mean, I know right now he's got a huge truck cab up here and it's a lot of weight, but the, uh, the ankles just don't seem strong enough to hold it. Alright, so let's move the camera up here. We'll work on the top part. Now this is a good experiment too, because I've never actually trans uh, reviewed a transformer this big now. So I'm kind of experimenting with camera work too, so you'll have to forgive me. Alright, so as far as this part here, we're going to start by kind of pulling the uh, bumper here. This is actually the cover for the matrix once everything's transformed. But it does clip in here. And then the headlights clip in. And then that secures the uh, wheels and, and this whole piece together here. So now we're going to come in here bring down these two front bits because that's this is pretty much part of the arm and the fist it transforms very similar to the G1 figure and what you do is you bring out the arms and that's something I just noticed here see the stacks were down for truck mode and see how this sticks out it's interfering with the arm you pull these up and elongate it for robot mode okay so you get the arm out here pretty much under here there's a panel flip that down there's the hand you just flip it around put the panel back up in place fold this piece underneath we're going to do the same on this side. Pull the stack up. Flip the arm out. And there's a little tab like right there. So you kind of have to bring it forward, then out, then forward, and kind of work it. Alright. And then we get the panel undone. Rotate. Flip up. 
flip that piece under. And then, as you can see, we're getting closer to a leader. Now, I'm going to put these back here. Just kind of get them out of the way right now. Okay, we open up the chest. Flip up the head. The head is really nice. I like the painted eyes. Um, I like light, pi light piping. Oh, look there. I didn't notice those were posable. Huh, that's pretty cool. I like light piping, but, you know, for Masterpiece, I don't like the, the thought of having to try and, you know, uh, pose him with the light just right so he can have a glowy eye. So I think it's a little bit better for this kind of figure to have a, uh, you know, painted... Uh, kind of look to them so all right now we're gonna flip the wheels upside down on both sides I should just kind of go right around here okay and then up here let's see which part goes next Yeah, obviously that part doesn't. Oh, there we go. That's what I forgot to do. You just unhook this whole spot and push it up into the chest. And then that gives you the matrix. And then he's got a two-part chest cover for it. And then once you do that, that lets you bring these two pieces up. See, there's the front wheels. They're folding up underneath the chest here, like that. And down here, this piece is kind of like double hinged, so it's gonna come loose and come loose. See, there we go, like that. And it's gonna reset back down there, and that's gonna allow this to come up. Which, you know, there's technically a second grill there to create the truck. You know, kind of like a fake grill. You can close up the chest. See, and that part is just, for some reason it worked in molding. It just won't sit right in any form. Then on the back here, you're going to take these and just fold them under. And then pretty much what I... To be honest with you, I don't remember if the direction said to do this or not, but I just tuck them up here so they're out of the way along the back. And then rotate them at the waist. Bring the arms down. Fold them, kind of push them back in. Bring his head straight. And then straighten out his legs. There we go. And then there is Optimus, Masterpiece Optimus, in robot mode. And I am going to detach the camera here, because with my stand I just can't get in good enough on the detailing here. Get a look at the face, which is, like I said before, very nice. I like the eyes. Unlike light piping, they just seem to be... I, alive for a better term. You can see the detailing on the arm. Uh, detailing on the chest. The hips, that's all translucent plastic molded in there. And look down here at the legs. You can see everything looks very nice. Now, back of the legs and going back up. Of course, this is where they hide screw holes and the like. And I have to say, the only thing that's really bad about him in robot mode is right there. The ankles are very loose. Which either means 
they are just loose or I am doing something wrong and I'm transforming him and they're not locking into place. So you do have to be careful because he does have a habit of wanting to go over. I'm going to get back on the stand here. Give me just a moment here. There we go. Back in place. Now then prime that the chest does open. And he does have the matrix in there. Now it folds up there and then you have this inner black piece which to be honest with you I have not been able to get myself without having to pry it up with something. So there we go. And that flips up and there is the matrix. Now here on this edge there's actually a little bit of chrome flash that's there on mine and to remove that you kind of push on one side till the other side pops up and then you get the matrix out. We'll go back there for a second prime. And here is a nice little close-up of the matrix. Nice translucent crystal in there. Let's say pretty cool. And just here on the silver, there's a little bit of the, I guess what would you call that, bronze color. That little bit of flash there, I should pop off. Now, it's not as cool as um, the bigger one that I think came with Rodimus because, you know, that one opened and everything, but still very cool that it's included. And what's, I think, really cool about Prime here is that he can fully transform with the Matrix in his chest. And not have any problems whatsoever. You know, just folds down, gets out of the way. I, I have to say, I am very impressed with them. Now, since we have them in robot mode here, I thought I would do some... Uh, size comparisons with a couple other figures here before we move on and, and get into detail on the trailer and what it does. So, um, the first size comparison I'm going to do, I'm going to put this prime all the way back against the wall here. Let's see. Back a little bit. Alright, so there's Masterpiece Prime. And here he is next to Revenge of the Fallen Leader Class Optimus Prime. You can see there the Leader Class is taller. Maybe has, looks like he might be a little bulkier, but that's probably just because he's got a lot of stuff hanging off his arms. It's just not a clean transformation. Um, but, you know, he's in a, a pretty decent figure in his own right. And eh, not too bad looking next to Masterpiece Prime. And then I also have Alternator's Silver Streak. Just to give you an idea there, because you can see as far as maybe the other Autobots would go, a lot, of, a lot from what I've been hearing, people are thinking that the Alternators are kind of like this uh, in scale size almost. And, I would have to agree, at least in robot mode, he's looking pretty decent there. So, the other one I wanted to do is a size comparison. You have to give me, let me move over the camera. Is Leader Class Rodimus, which was last year's, yeah, I think last year's uh, Leader Class or Masterpiece figure. So that kind of gives you a look at the. Uh, size of the figure relative to some other um, pieces that have come out. Alright, so that's the basics of robot mode. So what the next part we're going to look at then is we're going to get into detail on the trailer itself. Get it opened up, look at what's uh, inside. And then we'll compare robot mode prime with the trailer realized the one size comparison I didn't do was the G1 
versus the masterpiece. So I just thought I'd do a little quick side by side here. So there you go. All right, so now we're going to get into the trailer itself and kind of get a look at how it is. Uh, we may try and do a little bit with the original G1 trailer too, just to kind of show how they pretty much are identical in a lot of ways. It's pretty amazing. As you can see there, without uh, Prime's cab, there are two legs that come down where the cab would be to kind of keep it in place, keep it steady while you're looking at it. And then we're, let's move in here so I can kind of break this open. And again, I've never reviewed something this big before, so you'll have to forgive me as I try and figure out how to fit things in frame. So, we kind of went over the trailer before earlier, as you can see there. Pretty good. These just simply fold up up here. Now here, this piece does come out to the side, just like the original. It's got a molded spare tire underneath. Look at the detail under here. These are the two pegs I talked about that attach to the cab. As you can see here, the legs come out. Uh, with single tires throughout there. On this front, there's not really anything. Pretty much a mirror of the other side. And then the doors. And the doors do open. And you can see inside the trailer there. The amount of detail molded into the inside of the trailer is insane. And then here, you can have a ramp going into the trailer. And like I said, actual translucent plastic. Pretty nice. So, to get the trailer open, you're pretty much just going to pry on it. Kind of like before, you know how you always did G1 Prime, you always kind of felt like you were going to break your trailer every time you tried to open it. Yeah, it kind of feels the same with this one. There you go. Alright. Now... As far as the trailer itself, I'm going to have to detach again from the base. Alright, so coming up here to the front, you do have the ramp that will come out. So, ramp. Now if you move up into here, like I said, the amount of molded detail on this trailer is pretty insane. Both sides. Pretty impressive. Up here towards the top, it has the seats and everything molded in just like the G1. That's where Prime's gun can store. Of course, you have the whole upright, you know, repair robot kind of thing. The Energon Act stores over here another seat. Let me just come back here. And so you can see right there, almost identical to the G1. This does open, which I don't know if I can get too one-handed. Now I will try and show you that in a little bit. So I've got that opened up, spike hanging out in there, just to kind of give you an idea how that looks. And of course over here is the 25th anniversary I had out earlier. You see instead of molding they have just decals. But up here in front you see they have the two seats and the repair bot. <coughs> Which is very similar and of course they do have the seats molded in, the axes one of the seats here. You can see there's the seat, there's the seat. So they did an amazing job putting this together and making it look like the original. So there you go. So that is pretty much it in its, I guess, battle station mode it's supposed to have. 
Um, but now I will show you its repair bay mode. Okay, so now we're going to look at the battle station mode, and pretty much all you do is you have the trailer just sitting out like that, and really all you do is fold these up, fold this up, and bring it up like this. So you got Spike and his little pal there. They go up there like that. Can bring Prime in, place him right in here. Kind of reminds me of like a Gundam or a BattleTech uh, mech bay. You may always used to see. And then of course up at the top, that's where I mentioned his gun and his axe can be stored. And that's pretty much it, because the uh, robot I guess would have to flip upside down to actually repair anything but hey you know it's something so and that's how he interacts with the trailer there's one more thing I want to show you with the trailer and then we're going to move on to our final part and the thing I wanted to show you is I'm going to take his weapons out. And the thing I wanted to show you is right... Here, on both sides, there's this little tab you can push in. And it's available on both sides. Folds in so that when you have the trailer down, you can bring this up. Bring the camera back down so you can see. But you can do the old mode with the uh, G1 toy where you had that sticking out of the trailer. And just like so. You can even spin it around up here. So I thought that was pretty nice that they left that in just like the G1 could do. Alright, so we're going to go then now to the look at Prime with his weapons and so that should be the last little section of the video we're going to look at so give me just a moment to kind of clear some stuff up and I'll be right back alright for our last piece here what we're going to do is we're going to briefly touch on uh, his articulation because I haven't really talked about that yet then we'll look at his weapons and one more little piece that I've forgotten to kind of look at in this whole thing. And then uh, that should be our, the end of our extravaganza here. Now something I did forget to mention looking at the entire trailer piece, and I don't know why I forgot this, is that Masterpiece Prime comes with Masterpiece Roller. Which is awesome. I was not even expecting a Masterpiece Roller. So I was very happy to see this. See, there's the remolded G1 roller. Now, Masterpiece Roller or, uh, Prime doesn't come with any of the little hose or anything like that. So, But there you go. You get Masterpiece Roller and Spike can fit right in there. And then on the back here, this does flip down. And then this panel can flip around. And you can close it. And then Prime's gun can go in the peg there. So that roller can drive around and protect the place. Which I thought was a pretty nice touch. Something they didn't really have to include, but they did. So that is Masterpiece Roller. And you can see even he's molded well on bottom. So Prime and his articulation. And up here at the head, it's 
And it looks like it's on a, a swivel and then probably a ball joint underneath the head. So you get a nice range of motion. The little antenna are articulated. Now the arms can move 360 with the little internal joint there for transformation. They do get to move out some and they can actually move out and up and down. And then the arm here, you've got a swivel, then a hinge, and then the wrist is on just a swivel. Now this is what I thought was interesting. We've got you know index finger, other three fingers there that can move, and we've got no thumb articulation. I would have thought he would have had uh, articulated thumbs, but surprisingly not. So both arms move the same. Now he can, because of transformation there, move at the hip. And coming down here to the leg, can move out. we got the ratchet joint around. Knees bend, a swivel right below the knee, and then he's got the ankles that move, and they are very loose. But I did look here, and there's three screws, and I think this big screw is the main one that holds the ankles on to get on. So I'm kind of wondering if I could sneak in there and uh, tighten that, if I could avoid some stability issues. Because other than this piece somehow getting messed up in the molding, or in shipment, it just will not sit. And the weak ankles, this is a perfect Optimus Prime. I really can't find a fault with it. Now the two weapons he came with, he comes with an Energon Axe. Which is actually pretty cool. And the way it's molded here is it's just pretty much got his fist on it here. And then what you do is you just take the fist, line up the thumb hole there. Place it over. And plug that in. And there you go. He's ready to go to town with his Energon Axe. Not too bad. I mean, not... I don't know. I mean, I guess it was very cool in the G1 show, but I only remember using it a couple times, so it never really kind of stuck with me, but... It's okay. Not my favorite accessory, but... And then we have his Ion Rifle which is pegged so he can hold it here in his hand. And just pretty much like most other figures, you know, you get the peg in there and you push it shut and then he's got his gun. It's very cool. Now the gun is interesting too because what they've done is they've added a gimmick in here where he can store his weapon. So what you do with the gun and I don't know if you saw that, it's on a spring. It's not like a mech tech weapon at least, it just, it's a gun. But what it does is it folds over and collapses in. And then there's a little catch up here that catches it. And then you can push this button in and it comes back out. But what you can do with this is once you've got it packed up, turn prime around, open this center piece. See, and there's a hole there, and that kind of holds this. So what you do is you go in here, plug the gun in, and then up onto his back, and his gun is stowed. Which I thought was pretty cool. He could use that in truck mode, or he can use it in robot mode. Now, it doesn't peg in, so it's mostly, I think, just hanging with friction. But still, the fact they include something like that, I thought was pretty darn cool. But there you go, that is my very long look at Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Probably, from what I'm gathering already, an incredibly hard toy to find, which is a shame because it's a beautiful toy. Um, it just seems anymore some Transformers are just automatically scalped and put on eBay without, you know, some of us even getting a chance to find it. You know, if you work and can't go to Toys R Us every day at opening, I don't know how you're going to get some of this stuff. I mean, it's just a shame 
either Hasbro or Toys R Us or short shifting supply around. Um, I'd happen to get this because my wife knew I really wanted it and my mother-in-law was nice enough to go to Toys R Us when it opened and, and run straight to the Transformer aisle and see if she could find it. And She went in one day and their whole stock of Masterpiece Optimuses was they got one in and I got them. So I got pretty lucky on that. Hopefully a lot of you get lucky and get a hold of this thing because he is well worth it. Uh, if I remember right from reading, this is the t technically the Takara MP10, I believe. I think MP1 was the original Prime, and then this is the MP10 redo. So, I don't have the MP1, so I can't judge it, you know, fate compared to that. Um, I can just say, based on the other masterpieces I own, which is Skywarp Thundercracker and Rodimus there, that he is probably easily the coolest of the masterpieces I own. He transforms a lot simpler than I was expecting. Um, it's just a joy, really. So hopefully you guys can find it out there. Hopefully there will be more stock as we get closer to Christmas. But uh, I just thought I would take some time, take a look, and let you see it. And I hope you enjoyed watching the video. And as always, please, please, please comment subscribe follow us let us know how we're doing each video is kind of a learning experience i'd never really done anything with vic figures this big in a video before so hopefully i got everything on camera so you could see it um but yeah let me know what you think if you manage to get a prime let me know how you how you like him because uh, he's amazing so anyway i'm going to cut it off here and thank you for watching Alright, so as I was finishing up the video, I noticed I had uh, kind of forgot to do something during the transformation. So I just wanted to do a quick update here at the end just to show it off on here. And what it is, is with Optimus here on his legs, these two strips, or these two little slits here, are where the trailer attaches. And you can kind of see it here, and what I forgot to do during the transformation was... These flip out and around and give him some nice details on his legs. So we flip those out. And there, of course, you see nice silver kind of grill work there. Get him back to where he was. And then, as you can see, that kind of uh, adds a little more detailing to the leg and breaks up all that blue down there, just kind of completing the whole package. And I just have to say again, this is an amazing piece. Um, I wish Toys R Us and Hasbro had a, a more um, high number volume run of this. Or hopefully there's a second release or third or fourth around Christmas. Then maybe everybody can get this. Because it is a well, very, very cool piece that everybody should own. Um, if you're into the masterpieces. Anyway, thank you for watching.